Nehemiah chapter 9, verses 6 through 35. Thou, even thou, art Lord alone. Thou hast made heaven, the heavens of heavens, with all their hosts, the earth, and all things that are therein, the seas, and all that is therein. And thou preserveth them all, and the host of heaven worship thee. Thou art the Lord, the, the God. Who didst choose Abraham and brought us him forth out of Ur of the Chaldees and gave us him the name of Abraham and found us his heart faithful before thee and made us a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Jebusites, and the Girgashites to give it, I say, to his seed and has performed thy words. For thou art righteous and didst see the affliction of all our fathers in Egypt and heardest their cry by the Red Sea and showed his signs and wonders upon Pharaoh and all his servants and on all the people of his land. For thou knewest that they dealt proudly against them. So didst thou get thee a name as it is this day. And thou didst divide the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on the dry land. And their persecutors thou threwest into the deeps as a stone into the mighty waters. Moreover, thou ledest them in the day by a cloud pillar, and in the night by a pillar of fire, to give them light in the way therein they should go. Thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai and spake with them from heaven and gavest them right judgments and true laws, good statutes and commandments and madest known unto them thy holy Sabbath and commandest them precepts, statutes and laws by the hand of Moses, thy servant, and gavest them bread from heaven for their hunger and brought us forth water for them out of the rock for their thirst and promised them that they should go in to possess the land which thou hast sworn to give them. But they and our fathers dealt proudly and hardened their necks and hearkened not to thy commandments and refused to obey. Neither were mindful of thy wonders that thou didst among them, but hardened their necks and in their rebellion appointed a captain to return to their bondage. But thou art a God ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and forsaketh them not. Yeah, when they had made them a molten calf and said, this is thy God that brought thee out of Egypt and had wrought great provocations. Yet thou and, the, and thy manifold mercies forsook them not. In the wilderness, the pillar of the cloud departed not from them by day to lead them in the way, neither the pillar of fire by night to show them light and they and the way wherein they should go. Thou gavest also thy good spirit to instruct them and withheld us not thy manner from their mouth and gavest them water for their thirst. Yet forty years didst thou sustain them in the wilderness so that they lack nothing. Their clothes wax not old, and their feet swelled not. Moreover, thou gavest them kingdoms and nations, and didst divide them into corners. So they possessed the land of Shan, and the land of the king of Heshbon, and the land of Og, king of Bashan. Their children also multiplied as thou as the stars of heaven, and broughtest them into the land, concerning which thou hast promised to their fathers that they should go in to possess it. So the children went in and possessed the land, and thou subduedest before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gavest them into their hands with their kings and the people of the land, that they might do with them as they would. And they, and they took strong cities and a fat land and possessed houses full of all goods, wells, dig, vineyards, and olive years and fruit trees in abundance. So they did eat and were filled and became fat and delighted themselves in thy great goodness. 
Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs and slew thy prophets, which testified against them to turn them to thee. And they wrought great provocations. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. And according to thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. But after they had rest, they did evil again before thee. Therefore leftest thou them in the hand of their enemies, so that they had the dominion over them. Yet when they returned and cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven, and many times did thou deliver them according to thy mercies, and testified against them, that thou mightest bring them again unto thy law. Yet they dealt proudly and hearkened not unto thy commandments, but sinned against thy commandments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. And nevertheless, for thy great mercy's sake, thou didst not utterly consume them, nor forsake them, for thou art a gracious and merciful God. Now, therefore, our God, the great, the mighty and the terrible God, who keep his covenant and mercy. Let not all the trouble seem little before thee that hath come upon us, on our kings, on our princes, and our priests, and on our prophets, and on our fathers, and on all thy people since the time of the kings of Assyria unto this day. Howbeit thou art just in all that is brought upon us, for thou hast done right, but we have done wickedly. Neither have our kings, our princes, our priests, nor our fathers kept thy law, nor hearkened unto thy commandments and thy testimonies, wherewith thou didst testify against them. For they have not served thee in their kingdom, and in thy great goodness that thou gavest them, and in the large and fat land which thou gavest before them, neither turn they from their wicked works.